Hello everyone, it's Jay Burnham again with The Real Jay Burnham Show and we're talking about the marketing series and today I want to talk to you about blogging and or vlogging. So let's define what blogging and vlogging are so that you get an understanding if you don't already know. Blogging, oh what? I had some popcorn last night, I'm sorry. Uh, blogging is basically uh, where you write up a bunch of different articles or stories or different uh, things and you put it on your website for others to read. They could be personal stories, they could be your, uh, your experiences at different restaurants or sporting venues in and around your town. Um, they could be tips about the moving business or how to do moves or um, you know, give frequently asked questions that customers normally ask. Um, typically, they tend to be about three to five hundred words long, sometimes a lot longer, right? Vlogging is basically the very same thing, except you're using video, which is which is V logging, and then you got B logging. So, blogging stands for business log, right? blog and vlog stands for video log vlogging okay get it so there you go now here's the situation it's also blogging and vlogging have also been called content marketing and that's what we're talking about today is talking about marketing your business the idea of marketing is get the people to get to know like and trust you right you if you can uh Conquer those three things. If you can uh, master those three things, you're going to have a big, booming, moving company or any other business that you might be involved in. Okay? So that's what we're talking about today. We we're trying to get you involved in blogging. Now, I understand that you're just starting out uh, um, and you might be on doing the moves yourself. So, mate, where do you find the time? Well, I'll tell you right now, you have the time. You have 24 hours in a day, right? Sometimes you might not get as much sleep as you want, but you got to get out there and hustle. And it doesn't have to be very long, right? Um, I find that if you mix a bunch of moving tips and moving news with personal anecdotal uh, stories about your life inside the town, or you give some great tips like the 10 best restaurants downtown, or the 10 most haunted places in your city or the five best places to watch the fireworks for 4th of July, things like this. These are things you could write about, all right? And, the, and you could put it on your, on your um, website and that's called a blog, right? Or you could do it on the video and make videos. Like what I'm coming to you now is considered vlogging t technically. You know, I've been doing these videos every single day now for almost three months, almost 90 days now. I've been doing a video every single day. That technically is called vlogging. And when I write something below the description in the video, that technically could be considered blogging. Okay. Now I have my own website and I do blogging on my own moving website. I also have my other, the real Jay Bird. Uh, the Real Jay Burnham website, which I haven't really done a heck of a lot. Maybe you guys have gone to that website and go, man, there's like nothing here. You're like, trust me, I understand. That's just because I'm just so busy. I haven't really been able to put the time and effort into that website. So I apologize. But as we get going and we do, I'm starting to do a little bit more, we're going to make it look pretty and we're going to get the, uh, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff with that. And you'll get a good idea of what I do. But if you go to my personal website for my moving business, you'll see that I have a blog. And there's a bunch of great articles. I've got articles like, how much do movers charge? Hire a helper, the myths and facts of hire a helper. And a bunch of other uh, articles which get read quite often. They attract people to my business. These articles, now they might not be the best written articles and they're not might be the greatest articles around or have the most up-to-date information, but I get eyeballs coming to my website because of these articles. And because people come to my these articles and they read the articles and then they search my around in my website, 
they get to come to know like and trust me in my business and when you do that you have a perfect a uh, perfect storm of a marketing strategy and this is really a uh, very profound and this is the number one strategy that I used when I first started my moving business now don't give me any excuses that you can't write blogs there are days you're not going to be having any moves take that day and go and write an article I don't care how good your art your writing is um, and if you can't write then do a vlog get up Get them a camera. Your cell phone can take a photo, you know, take a video of you. Do a five minute video, 10 minute video of you. Go, if you have, like, we have a Lug Nuts here. It's a minor league professional baseball team. Go to a Lug Nuts game. In my case, I'd go to a Lug Nuts game and do a video. Take a friend with me. Hey, invite a friend and go, hey, look, I want to pay your way into the Lug Nuts game. And while I'm there, I'm going to do a, a video of us uh, on spending our time and sh telling why this is a great activity in X town. If you're in Miami, Florida, go to a, go to a, a Miami Heat basketball game um, or go to a Dolphins football game. Or if you're in LA, go to Universal Studios or Knott's Berry Farm. Um, if you're in Seattle, Seattle go, to the, go to the Space Needle, go to Pikes on Pier, um, just do things in around your town and just really get people to come and really experience you. But you got to mix it in with your moving business and you've got to direct people to your moving business. So that becomes a little bit of a strategy in itself. And, and really the strategy is like, hey, if you really like this and, you, and if you're looking at moving or you want to move downtown or in better places, contact You Save Moving and Storage for all your moving needs and leave a link on your website to your home page or to whatever page on your website <coughs> sorry excuse me that you want the person to go to whether it's uh, maybe it's the the estimate form or maybe it's your moving rates or whatever it is that you want to send them to send them to that page from your blog you know when they read the blog or they watch the video on your website send them to another page that's going to entice them to get your services. Maybe they're not in the market for your services at the time. But, and that's okay too. That's actually perfect. Because if they're not in the market for your services at the time, they've at least been exposed to your company. Now, and if you're doing Facebook marketing as well and, and Google uh, paid ads um, as on top of this, eventually they're going to see it and they're going to, you know, uh, psychology says that if they see your brand seven times in a row they're going to remember you so when the time comes and if they seen you seven times like on a billboard or a postcard or on a Facebook ad they're going to remember you down the future they're gonna go you know what? there's that you say moving in storage I'm gonna pick them I'm gonna call up their phone number and call them up and see what they got to offer <clears throat> do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Now, if you make these guys fans, like you go on and you really are just a kick-ass uh, marketer and you're, and you're in this networker, networking group, you know, you're putting them on a mailing list. Now, this is really cool. You're putting them on a mailing list and now you're sending them coupons for uh, cleaning services or, uh, or the best restaurants. You're sending your... You're giving them uh, like uh, discount codes for a good meal at one of the local restaurants. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to start to know, like, and trust you. So now that you become the hub, right, your website becomes a hub for the stuff in and around the town. And I've actually implemented the strategy. Content marketing is what I used when I first started this business. So do not, do not discount the power of blogging or vlogging as it is and you should do it regularly you should do do you be should be putting up an article a blog every single week at least one or two particularly three I would suggest your minimum amount that you do is three blogs or vlogs a week on your website right <clears throat> and mix it up sometimes it's gonna be a moving tip sometimes it's gonna be some moving news like there, maybe you saw in the news that another moving company got a, got busted because they were being a moving scam. Well, you could 
go and do a whole blog on this and go, this is why you should never have used this guy. This is what the customer did wrong. And this is how you could prevent that and things like that. And eventually you will get noticed. Go and do interviews with other businesses and other people in, in the community so that people can come to your website. If you know realtors, oh my goodness, that's a perfect thing. Uh, go up to a realtor. I've done this. I, I got this realtor lady. Uh, her name's Kelly. I go, hey, Kelly, write me up. A, you know, Give me a, an article a week about a, a, a house that's for sale, and we'll put it up on my website, and I'll promote it. And just do things like that. And just do it, things like that for free. And I'm telling you, you're going to get people who know, like, and trust you. And it's a very popular, uh, very popular method. All right? So that's all I really got to say on blogging. It's very powerful. I suggest you do it. Do not discount the power of blogging. All right? If, there is, if you don't have any cash, you don't have any money, you still should be blogging on your days off or the times when you're not doing moves. And if take an hour, take two hours, I don't care how long it is. It doesn't have to be super long. It could be a very short post. You don't have to be uh, Stephen King to write it either or J.K. Rowling or anybody like that. Just write in your own voice and, and, and be very, very real and authentic in your writing. Um, if you need spell checking, there are great apps that will help you with your spell checking. Your computer already comes with a spell checker, but you can also upload Grammarly uh, for it, which will help with your spelling as well. All right? So there's definitely uh, things you could be doing. But blogging was the number one tool that I used. All right? Good. Now when we're done with this subject, I'm going to another subject I just created our moving company insiders mastermind group i don't know the title on it as a matter of fact if you've already given me your email address you have been sent an invite to join that group all right you have been uh, already invited so just go to your email find the email and accept the invitation to the this secret facebook group all right it's you can will not be able to start if you try to search for it you will not be able to find it because it's a secret group only to you guys my youtube list uh subscribers and, and people who are watching this now tomorrow i'm going to go live with, with it specifically and i'm going to give you a website where you're going to go and where you're going to give me your name and your email and you're going to sign up for it and then i'll send you the link to the site and you can go and sign up for it all right <clears throat> You will not be able to be part of the group at all unless you sign up for my email list. The reason why I'm doing this is because later on I do plan on doing courses and, and, and other different things which I'm going to sell or, and give away for free. But this is my way of start to building a, a little bit of a business to help you guys. Okay? So I'm going to be very transparent. I'm going to be a, uh, I am going to be trying to get your email addresses so that I can market to you or give things away to you for free. Now, this, this insider group, we're going to have live Q&As. We're going to have uh, specific trainings just for the insiders. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a forum where you guys can mingle and talk to one another and bounce ideas off of one another, as well as me learn from you. Also, all the things that I told you I was going to provide to you, like my rate cards and the tariff, I have uploaded to this secret group. So you don't no longer have to email me. You just have to become a member of this group and you can go and download that to your heart's content. All right. All right, guys. So if, if you've already given me your email address, you've already been invited to the group. All right. Whoa. Something's going on here. What's going on? I got a danger warning. A uh, severe thunderstorm watch. Expires in three. Okay. So. They're just coming with a severe thunderstorm watch. Right now, it's bright, sunshiny day, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, guys, so there you go. Tomorrow, we are going to open up that group. So if you're interested in being we're only going to open it up for 24 hours. After 24 hours, I shut it down completely, and the only way you're going to be in it is if you pay to get in. So tomorrow, um, be prepared for the announcement of our insiders group, and you will have 24 hours to become a member of that group for free i mean lifetime for free all right you you don't have to pay a dime it's going to be 100 free all right but after the 24 hours is expired 
if you want to be part of that membership, that 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 insider forum, you're going to have to pay for it. I'm sorry, that's just the way it's going to be. My time is very limited. I got to really restrict how much I'm going to be doing because I got to run my own moving business. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Yay! Right. Make sure you share this with all your family and friends. And, of course, please subscribe to this channel. Also, tomorrow is Memorial Day. So let's make sure we take a moment and actually honor those who have given everything for our country and our freedoms. All right, guys. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.